Okay, here is a little batch file that I typically use. I found this in one of our books, the IT Fundamentals book, as a matter of fact. And it's an easy way of getting people's IP configuration information once you send them this little file that they can execute on their system. It's not going to do any damage, but it's like trying to walk somebody through being able to use the command prompt and then type in IP config, you know, space forward slash all. Because sometimes just talk, trying to tell somebody over the phone, CMD, and they're like, ZMD? No, I said CMD. You know, so you're back to going, you know, Charlie, Ma Mary, David, okay? Well, the easiest way to do this is really you go in and you're going to open up Notepad. So you start typing in Notepad. Obviously, it's going to pop up fairly quick. Now, a few different things you're going to do. One of the things you're going to do is you're going to, at the very beginning, you're going to type the ampersand. And we're going to go with the at echo space off. Next line is going to be IP config space forward slash, I got a little bit ahead of myself there, forward slash ALL. -L. Okay, now use the greater than and then pipe it to a report dot txt. Might help if you type it in right. That happens every now and then. All right, so the next thing is going to be echo press a key to view report. Next line is going to be pause, the greater than again, and then NUL. And the very last line is going to be notepad space report dot txt. Now save it someplace where you can find it. So what I'm going to do here, we're going to go here to the file. We're going to click save as. Now we're going to make sure that when we do this, I'm just going to call it test dot cmd, Charles, Mary, David. And then make sure that you select all files. Now, just so that we can find this nice and quick, let's put it on the desktop. Okay. We're going to close this. And what you should be able to do is just double click this. It's going to say press the key to con any key to continue. There. Now, what you could have the individual do is actually save this, send it to you in, in an email, and now you have all the information you need from their IP configurations. Hope this video has been helpful. Please like and subscribe, and we're going to be coming up with more training videos here in the very near future.